Hi folks, this is Brian, aka B-Funk Phenomenon, coming at you with a nice little four count riff I refer to as an anchor loop. This footage was shot on a beautiful Saturday morning on the 5th of March 2022. And here we have Jana and Marielle riffing along with me. So the anchor technique displayed here is a very practical technique. And as I've mentioned before, originally I'm a longtime hardcore street skater and at least 80% of techniques derived from my longtime street skating experiences. As I never used front stoppers, early on I had to develop and adjust my techniques to maintain speed, control and precision in different circumstances. And this anchor technique is a prime example coming from those experiences. So after a little conference call with the ladies here, in which I explained a three layer exercise, we are about to execute a nice build-up that starts with a four count cross step. The second layer is when the jump is added to the sequence on the third count. And finally the third layer is where we actually morph into the traveling part and sometimes squeeze in a 360 turn. So the anchor refers to the pronated ankle position and in the first two layers it looks more like a flare move. In this case the front inside wheel functions as the anchor point. In the third layer, the functionality of the anchor fully comes into play, as the traveling aspect forces one to take more control and closely monitor position. Otherwise, we would bump into each other or lose control as we curve around. The jump in this second layer is added to prime the trainees for loosening up and detach them more from the surface. And it's an extra reason to focus on the pronated ankle for more control after coming down from the jump. Before gearing up to the third layer, we switch back to the first one to give ourselves a chance to concentrate and control our breathing because even something like a little jump does take extra energy. So while we recuperate from that in that first layer, in the meantime we're checking out how much space we have around us and then we're good to go. Maybe it's just me, but the transition from Stepping to rolling, traveling is always mesmerizing to witness. And it feels even better than it looks like. And in practical situations, it's pretty safe to say this technique has saved me many times from harm or disastrous collisions at high speed. Absorbing your kinetic energy in a circular flow can absolutely be a lifesaver. To add a 360 turn into the mix, we change the anchor point from the inside front wheel to the inside back wheel. The result of that is maximum control at one particular pivot point. Switching randomly between those three different layers within the same flow and exercise guarantees a good drill with high training effects and results. The track chosen here is Baby Love by the band Aura and is about 109 beats per minute, which is an excellent tempo to maintain fluency during the whole sequence, even when the 360 turns are added. I wish I had positioned the camera a little better for this one, as Mariella clearly fell out of frame for the most part, but I never do second takes. The training itself, the experience of the trainees and staying in the moment are always priority number one. I still hope you enjoyed this video, please stay safe and catch you on the next one.